This is Sam here at She Does The Most and I am so excited to finally get to use my peep cup from the Dollar Tree and I will be drinking some water out of this while planning. I plan in an A5-6 ring planner and here we are going to be doing two spreads for the Easter season and I'm actually being really rude today. Hello good people and let's jump into it. So I am, you know, trying to give all the people all of the things and we're going to be decorating two different weeks, two different ways, but both for Easter. The first one is going to be a very colorful, um, typical Easter chick eggs bunny kind of spread. And the second one is going to be a religious Jesus focus spread because that is the reason for the season. So I am using these window clings as well as these colorful labels all from the Dollar Tree and the washi tape with this dark pink checkered pattern from the Dollar Tree as well. So up until very recently, I had no idea what I was going to use in my planner for the colorful Easter section because Dollar Tree did not put out any Easter stickers. Not that I could find in my Dollar Tree, but I was able to pick up these window clings. First, I'm going through and selecting my labels. I want to leave a lot of the plain labels for different spreads that don't necessarily call for all of the color. But because this is going to have a wide variety of pink, yellow, oranges, blues, I can pick some of my more colorful label to make boxes in my planner. If you have not seen me do this before, I am going to link where I decorated for St. Patrick's Day. And I made the claim that I am the first planner to use these Dollar Tree label as boxes in my planner. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but I'm claiming it today. So I am going to, like I said, use these window decorations. I have used window clings in my planner before. This was when I was planning in an A5, no. This was when I was planning in a eight and a half by 11 planner and it was a lot bigger and I had a lot more room to work with. I think that their window clings are really great. They actually cling on to the paper, but you can use a tape runner to make it a more permanent fixture on your paper because I'm sure that it would shift around if you just added it. There weren't too many window clings for Easter that I was really in love with, but it also wasn't going to work since I downsized my planner. So I was able to find these that are labeled as window decorations. They are sticky on the back. I wasn't quite sure until I went to use them for this spread, but they are like a traditional sticker. They are just a little puffier. If you are concerned about bulking up your planner, then this may not be the sticker pack for you. But because I can remove and add rings, because I can remove and add sheets as much as I want, it isn't a big concern for me if it gets a little bulky. So I added just a strip of torn washi to the top and bottom of my spread so that I can layer on top of them. I am starting with this pink, yellow, and orange circular label, and I am adding this to two different sections of my pages. On the left, it's very traditional where it is off to the side. On the right hand side though, I really like it being inside the boxes. So let's talk about this layout um, of the actual insert that I'm using. This is a dashboard layout for the month of March. I'm using the dashboard. These are inserts that I created myself just because I didn't 
find or didn't want to spend the money on inserts that didn't work perfectly for me. So I prefer to work in a vertical layout. This has not always been the case for the vast majority of my life I have planned horizontally, but I have become a vertical convert. But I do realize that a wide variety of people use a different style of layout. And I wanted anyone watching my video or anyone choosing to subscribe to be able to see something that works for them. The way you're going to design a horizontal is not necessarily the same as you will do a vertical or a dashboard layout. And you can use the same stickers, the same boxes. You're not limited in what you can use. It is just going to be a different layout. So I did decide for your viewing pleasure that I would do a variety of layouts. I also think that it does keep it fresh and interesting for me. You can get used to putting the same kind of stickers in the same spots. So this just adds a bit of variety. For next month, I am going to be doing horizontal. And so that's going to add a little bit of variety as well. This spread was really fun and colorful to put together. Um, I don't tend to take myself too seriously with the decor in my planner. Sometimes you like something a little bit more than the other, but that is okay. You just keep moving and you kind of know what kind of changes you want to make next year. Every year I kind of adjust my planning style and then it's also going to depend on what is available last year i don't know if i didn't see these labels or i didn't notice them but they have really been an easy game changer for me in boosting up the variety that i'm able to put in my planner um, sometimes I would print boxes myself or sometimes I just wouldn't have them at all if I'm a little pressed for time and wanted to do a little bit more functional planning. But I really like being able to work with these. We have some oval and for the sake of planning I'm going to call them boxes but we have some oval boxes that I can document in and um, that rectangular one up on the right hand side where I was able to cut off a strip of the color just to make the size one that I wanted to use. So this is another way to just kind of exercise your creative muscles. Um, I will say that in my last video I mentioned that the Dollar Tree labels are a little thin it's okay for me to see the lines of the planner through it um, something that I personally will have to be a little bit more conscious of though is that when I lay down the labels if I want to adjust them they will pick up a little bit of that ink of my box so when I move the label over you might still see the line that was previously there and for me, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. But if it is for you, just know that that is a possibility and you want to be a little bit more cautious or certain about where you want to put your boxes.
For some of these stickers that I lay down, I do edit out just the trimming, but I do want to leave some of it in because I want you to have kind of a real world realistic view of the amount of just modifying and final details that it kind of takes to pull something like this together. So I am adding in just torn little strips of washi tape to bring in a little bit more of that color. And it takes a little bit of zhuzhing to lay this down. Like I said, when I would struggle through other sections, just so that this video is not an hour long, I would edit it out. But in some places, I do leave it there because I want you to see, you know, realistically what the process is like and to also have a realistic expectation. I don't want you to be too hard on yourself if you can't get your washi tape completely straight or if it takes you putting it down and removing it six times to get it at a place that you like it, just know that that's normal. And a lot of what you may see is just cut or trimmed down. I was never a big fan of washi tape previously. I am really embracing it this year. I think last year I used a lot of the really thin washi tape from Amazon and I would use that to make boxes or I would use that to highlight rows in my weekly spread. But this year I'm really embracing the different types of washi. I use them just to decorate the top and bottom when I'm doing functional planning or I will tear them up and use them as accents like right here. But Recently, I did a haul and I was able to find really, I'm not going to say neutral, they were like pink and blue, but when you pull them out, it had a gradient, but it didn't have pattern design. It wasn't checkered. It was just a block of color. And I'm really excited to incorporate that into something moving into the spring and summer season. So here we are moving on to the next week and this is going to be a more religious focused spread. These stickers are ones that you can print yourself from Etsy and I print them on removable sticker paper that I will link in the description box. Um, you're not really able to find a lot of religious stickers at the Dollar Tree. I have seen a handful of Christian, maybe like quotes or flower. I think I have a quote and flower sticker book. And so there are little tidbits, but as far as for holidays, I don't really see them come out during Christmas. I don't see them come out during Easter. And it may be by design, just maybe there's not a big return on investment for Dollar Tree and some other stores that may not carry it. Or maybe they don't want to isolate any individual group. But it's always very interesting to me when it is a religious holiday, you know, not something like Thanksgiving or 4th of July. Um, I have not specifically been on the lookout for any other religions, um, but you let me know. I don't think that I've seen any Jewish or any sort of Muslim focused stickers or stationary items at the Dollar Tree. So since there is not, I am still using the boxes on this side, but I have to look for other sources to decorate this spread. 
So like I said, the stickers came from Etsy that I printed myself. And these quote stickers I have used before, but I got them on sale at Hobby Lobby. I want to say that they were less than $2. It was probably a sale where they were like 70, 80% off. And I am just using that to add some more visual interest as well as some more uplifting quotes for this side of the page. So what are you guys doing for Easter? This year we inadvertently <laughs> planned a cruise during Easter time. I don't think anyone knew at the time that we were booking it. And not to say that it would necessarily change our plans either way, but we're doing a cruise for my mother's birthday and it coincided with spring break. And since a lot of my family members have school age children, we're kind of limited on when and for how long we can travel. And so we decided to do a five day cruise and we were very shocked that Easter was a little early this year and that it is falling on March 31st. So we will be boarding the boat on that day. That kind of makes it a little easier from my perspective to get an after the pen out to you guys a lot quicker because the last few days of this week will just be pre-planning and I'm not, I'm not going to schedule myself with a lot of hectic things to do so there won't be a lot of plans to write down. And so I'm able to jot them down a few days in advance, feel comfortable that that is going to be the final product, and that I can edit it and send it on out to you guys. I really like the way that this side is turning out. I wasn't sure with my labels what I could use over here. Maybe the light blue. I really like the look of that orange since it does go well with a lot of the wood tones of the crosses. And then the green with the moss on the hills. So at least I was able to get a little color over here and that I didn't have to resort just to black and white. The black labels are sacred to me. I try not to use them because I know that there are going to be color palettes that I may not have boxes for. And so I really try to reserve it for that. I was able to also haul some like half circle type of black boxes and I picked up two packs because I was really excited and I knew that I could get a lot of use out of those. Sometimes I tend to be a little bit of a, I don't know, not a pack rat, but like a squirrel, you know, like I'll get something and I'll be like, okay, don't use it, don't use it, don't use it, but it is meant to be used, right? So I'm not going to create too much anxiety for myself if I use up all of my black and white boxes. It just is what it is and I will adjust. So now I'm going through and looking at my quotes and trying to find the perfect one. These are not Easter, these are not necessarily Easter related quotes. So there is nothing on there that says, you know, he is risen or um, certain wording that you may be used to for Easter. But whenever I do a religious theme spread, I always try to break out this quote sheet because it doesn't, 
necessarily go with everything. I mean, I could add them to a regular heart or flower spread. I just, they're not usually the ones that I go to first. I used um, these stickers for Valentine's Day. <laughs> And I know you may be thinking, okay, it's very, it's a little random, but there were a lot of quotes about Jesus's love and I was doing a neutral Valentine theme. And so I didn't have any black and white quotes. And so it was perfect and it really worked together well. So now I'm hole punching as a little bit of cleanup and I'm going to insert these into my planner and do a little flip through. As I am flipping through though, <laughs> I did not close my rings and so all of my inserts went flying out. But that is okay, we're going to get them back in order. As I'm taking this time to put these back, this is a reminder that please, if you like my content, to subscribe, comment, click your notification bell so that you stay notified when I upload my latest video. I would love for everyone to have a great and safe Easter, celebrating however you see fit. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next one.